Ancient aliens has been a topic of ufology that has been growing and growing over the past years, much of this to do with the television show of the same name. We could be talking about Egypt or the cave paintings made by Apache Indians which date back thousands of years and appear to show images of aliens and UFOs. It could be the revealing of new evidence like the bizarre free-fingered mummies discovered near the Nazca Lines in Peru. This evidence making us ask the question, have intelligent beings been arriving from outer space for thousands of years? Did the ancient peoples of Earth know about and understand the idea of extraterrestrial visitors? Did they leave us their knowledge in the form of stories about star people or star beings? If people living in a time before modern digital technology believed in extraterrestrials, then why can't we? The advancements seen in today's tech should make the idea of alien visitation much more plausible. Maybe we can learn from the past and prepare for the future using the knowledge that has been handed down to us. Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on history and mystery. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video again. Many who follow the idea of ancient aliens believe that there has been a clandestine effort made to hoard evidence of alien interactions with humanity in the far reaches of history. A large portion of this is said to focus on ancient Egypt and the idea that the pyramids may have been built by extraterrestrial beings. But there are many more cultures around the world that have stories of alien contact in the distant past. Much of these beliefs have become an important part of cultures and religions, passed down from generation to generation by the teachings of community elders. This knowledge seen as sacred and of great importance to humanity. Some of these peoples are open to sharing the messages they say they have received from outer space. This in the hope it will be a benefit to all of mankind today and in the future. One such cultural group are the Hopi, the First Nations people from Arizona, US. They tell stories of flying shields seen by their ancestors in the third stage of the world, their belief system dividing history and the world into stages. We are currently said to be in the fourth stage. Then there are the Zuni people from New Mexico who talk of ancestors who came from the sky in their belief system with legends that are very similar to those of the Hopi. So who or what did the ancestors see? We may be able to get a look and learn what to expect if or when these extraterrestrials return. The Hopi refer to ant people. These ant people appear similar to the traditional image of an alien, small body, big head and almond shaped eyes. These images appearing in rock carvings and cave paintings. One such cave painting depicts an alien-like figure and can be found at Legends Rock in Wyoming, USA. This archaeologically important site is home to more than 280 petroglyphs, these dating back as far as 10,000 years. Yet more images can be found and dated to 5000 BC, a group of cave paintings that were created and hidden in the Sago Canyon area of Utah by the Anasazi and Fremont Native Americans. In these images, we find similar depictions of ET to those painted by the Hopi. The large eyes and craniums that have become the iconic image associated with alien hunters from around the world. A rock painting discovered in Cayuse Creek in Idaho depicts a rocket-like object complete with smoke and flame being exhausted from behind the craft. It even shows a humanoid figure inside the rocket, something that is easily recognizable as a pilot to our modern eyes. In Canada, near Christina Lake in British Columbia, another image adorns cave walls, this one showing a white disc with black wings hovering over a small group of four human figures. These images are all part of the stories told within local tribes, stories which tell us that long ago star people, aliens, came to earth. The star people, it is said, brought their spiritual teachings with them, this along with information and maps of the cosmos, all of which they gave to ancient humanity freely. They provided these people the lesson in being kind, loving and set a great example for the tribes of old to follow. This is a lesson that is still being taught by the peoples who first heard it thousands of years ago today. Maybe it's time the world outside paid more attention to this message, but this will be difficult 
as we run into some major cultural differences. In today's world, aliens are often the lead story in the weekly world news or national inquirer and not the spiritual teaching star beings of the First Nations peoples. Those that openly discuss these ideas become the focus of ridicule and mockery, in the recent case of David Icke even banned from entering certain countries. That being said, attitudes are slowly changing and people in the mainstream are embracing the idea that ancient aliens played an important part in the story of humanity, little by little. We could be talking about the places found all over the world that for decades those labelled conspiracy theorists claimed could not have been built by the human societies from the periods of history that they were said to have been constructed in. We have sites like Stonehenge, the Nazca Lines and a thousand year old interlocking stone fortress outside of the Inca capital of Cusco in Peru and most obviously the pyramids and the Great Sphinx of Egypt. So what groundbreaking discovery or legend has been seen as being so important that it warrants being included in a museum exhibit focusing on alien history? The Great Barrington Historical Society and Museum has formally inducted the UFO story of six-year-old Thomas Reed. The boy's story begins in 1966 when he saw strange lights on his family's horse farm in Berkshires. The boy and his family also witnessed strange figures materializing in the hallways of their home. The Reed boy spoke of how he was suddenly teleported to the woods near his home and found himself looking up at a UFO. Then he and his younger brother Matthew were taken inside the craft at which point they are shown a projection of a willow tree. The following year there was another incident at their home on Broadman Street in Sheffield, more strange lights and the sounds of doors slamming. Then the boys once again found themselves back inside this mysterious vessel. The next thing Thomas knew he was in his driveway being scooped up by his mother who had been searching frantically for the two boys. Two years later the family was driving on Route 7 when they again saw strange lights in the sky. Their car stalled and then Thomas and his brother and mother and grandmother found themselves in a giant room. He was then introduced to two strange ant-like figures placed in some sort of cage and then the next thing he knew he was back near the car. Strange ant-like figures? Maybe like those described by the Hopi. If this story is regarded as being credible enough to be included in a museum exhibit then doesn't it prove that the cave images painted by the Hopi could also be down to them experiencing the same kind of event? Both do talk of ant men. If what the Hopi experienced and still tell the world about to this day happened then does that not mean that the other stories of ancient aliens may also be true? And to go out on a limb might the construction of some of the previously mentioned mysterious ancient sites also be the work of extraterrestrials? Could the chink in the armor of established history come from the small Massachusetts Museum of Great Barrington? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here on the channel hit that red button and subscribe. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.